so good afternoon students hope you all are fine so today uh, we are going to discuss a topic a chapter of the book moment the chapter name is happy prince okay so firstly i just want to give you a brief description of the statue of the happy prince uh, as a as a name the title firstly look at the title of this story this is a happy it's a prince so happy means a person who always remains happy prince he was a person who remains happy when he was alive when he was alive so all the time he lived in the palace he lived in the palace and he was always happy he did not know what the tears were or what kind of uh, the we can say the miseries were okay so he was not knowing about anything so today but after the death after the death that uh, uh his statue was made and it was uh, stood on the high column of the city it was a uh, in the city high column of the city and the people he, he could see all the people surrounding him okay he could see that uh, the kind the miseries of the people the ugliness of the people how the people are suffering how the whatever whatever the miseries of the poor people are there so he can now see about all of those as he was happy when he was alive but now after the death of his when he was in the form of a statue now he was very sad why he was sad okay what he could see in the city what kind of miseries were there he could see for uh, so today we will read out in this chapter okay we will find out so the high above the city on a tall column uh, as i earlier told told you that when when the statue when the happy prince died on a tall column of the city there stood a statue of the happy prince so happy prince statue was there he was gilded all over the thin leaves of fine gold okay he was gilded he was decorated the statue of the happy prince was decorated with the leaves of gold okay for eyes and in the two eyes of the happy prince uh, he had two bright sapphires okay two bright sapphires sapphires means uh, these are very precious stones okay so these are the very precious stones of blue so two bright sapphires were there and a large red ruby glowed on his sword hilt as we can see that in the sword uh, there is a hilt so in the hilt uh, there was a red ruby and what is a ruby it is also a very fine uh, precious metal so so this was the happy prince it was it had what was there in the happy prince there was a ruby there was sapphires and there was thin leaves thin leaves of fine gold so it was decorated with all these things so the makers have made it very very good one okay it was very attractive so one night they flew over the city a little swallow 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 a little swallow swallow is a word it's a bird so there his friends had gone away to egypt 6 weeks before but he had stayed behind then he decided to go to egypt too so but his friends the friends of swallow so swallow's friends went to where they went they went to egypt where they went they went to egypt and he also wanted to go as he was left behind alone there so he decided that he would also go there to join his friends but but he stayed behind then he decided to go to egypt too so all day long he flew and at night he arrived at the city which city where the statue of happy prince was there so he arrived to that city to take some rest 
to spend the night in that city so he he when he reached the city he thought where shall i put up he said to himself he talked to himself and he he was thinking that what where should he put himself i hope the town had made preparations what kind of preparations he wanted to say that the town had made preparation to welcome me to stay one night in their city then he saw as he was looking the space to spend the night there so then he saw the statue of on a tall tall column the tall column was there there was a statue of a happy prince so he find that statue so he thought what he thought he said to himself that he would i would put up there he said that he would put up himself there he cried it is a fine position with plenty of fresh air when he reached there there was a fresh air was there so he find that it's a nice place to stay one night so he alighted just between the feet of the happy prince the statue of the happy prince between the feet he set up there i have a golden bathroom and he was very happy when he look at the beauty of her when he look when he looked at the attractiveness of the statue of happy prince he become very happy and he thought that it was a kind of golden bedroom because the statue was fully decorated with the golden leaves so he said softly to himself and he looked around and what he said i told you that it was a fine gold bedroom and he prepared to go to sleep and now he he prepared to go to sleep he wanted to sleep there with the fresh air he wanted to take rest so that in the next morning early morning he could move to the to egypt to meet his friends but just as he was putting his head under his wing a large drop of water fell on him when he was just putting his wings under his head he was ready to sleep he, what he found he found that there was a drop he feel a drop of water what a curious thing he was very curious means strange curious means strange he was he thought himself that what a curious thing okay it's a strange thing there is not a single cloud in the sky the stars are quite clear and bright and yet it is raining so he was very he was very curious that what what happened here no no cloud was there in the sky but then also he could feel that that uh, drop of water is falling on on him what is the use of statue if it cannot keep the rain off he thought to himself he said he said to himself what is the use of this bigger statue this is a attractive statue but this is of no use because it it could not save me from the rain i must took for a good chimney pot so he and he determined to fly, fly away as he he wanted he decided he decided to move away from there so that he could find place in a chimney pot to spend a night there but before he had open his wings to fly he as he wanted to fly he wanted to go there but before that what he found another drop the third drop fell and he looked up and saw ah uh, what did he see he find up around he looked there there was no sky no cloud in the sky but he checked that what he found what was there the eyes of happy prince were filled with tears the eyes of happy prince had tears the tears were coming down from the eyes of happy prince his face was so beautiful in the moonlight as it was decorated the statue was decorated the sapphires were there in the uh, eyes so it the face was looking so beautiful in the moonlight and when he found when the little swallow found the tears coming down from the eyes of that statue so he he felt pity he filled with pity for the statue who are you he said 
he asked to the happy prince who are you i am the happy prince the happy prince replied that he is the happy prince so why are you weeping then he said why are you weeping asked the swallow have you quite you don't know that you quite drenched me you weeped uh, and that's why the, the tears come down uh, from your eyes and i i got drenched so what he said when i was alive means the happy prince now it was a statue but he talked that when he was alive and had a human heart what does the meaning human heart mean it means uh, when he was alive and his heart was bumping okay and he, the heart was alive and it it could weep so answered the statue i did not know what tears were he said that as as by the name of this chapter we could understand that the happy prince he said that when i was young i was alive then i could not know what kind what the tears were for i lived in the palace ha, where sorrows is not allowed to enter where sorrows were not allowed to enter okay because he remains happy throughout his life he spent his life in happiness so my country is called me the happy prince as he always he become happy he remains happy always he remained when he was alive so uh, the his courtiers they named him the happy prince so Uh, the happy indeed i was and he said that i was happy always so i lived and so i died and now i am dead now he said that now he is dead and after the death what happened they set me up here so high that i could see the ugliness and all the misery after the death they have stood me here in the high column of the city on the high space of the city they put me there in a statue and i could see that that all the misery all the sorrowness all the ugliness of uh, his city and so his heart made of lead yet i cannot choose what be and he thought that as as he was he was fixed with the fasten he was fixed firmly with the fasten so he could not move from there okay whether his heart was made up of lead lead means a uh, metal but his heart was made of metal but then also he he could he could only weep but could not do anything to help those those um, to help to end the miseries of the people and the ugliness of the city or the sorrowness of the city so what is he not so solid gold said said the swallow to himself swallow was thinking he thought that that he thought that the whole the whole of the statue was made of uh, the gold but maybe inside the heart was made of a uh, lead he was too polite to make any personal remarks but uh, uh, the swallow did not say anything to the happy prince he did not make any personal remark to the happy prince far away continued the statue uh, in a low musical voice he said far away far away in a little street there is a poor house he was he wanted to say he wanted to uh, describe the ugliness or the sorrowness of the people who were living in the city so he said that far away in a street they lived a poor house there was a poor house one of the window is open and through it i can see a woman seated at a table the happy prince is telling that uh, the woman was sitting at the table her face is thin and worn she was very uh, we can see the face was very weak and uh, she was course red hands all pricked by the needle if she, for she is a seamstress seamstress as the vim woman was a seamstress and he uh, the statue could see that uh, his hands was all pricked by the needle okay when he was doing the work his um, she is embroidering flowers on a satin gown for the loveliest of queens 
maids of honor her lit to wear for the next court ball for the function she was embroidering flowers on the gown of the queen so in the bed of the room he was the statue of happy prince was describing the story of that woman what kind of uh, what in what kind of situation the woman was there okay so he said that in the uh, near him corner in the room her little boy is lying ill the boy is ill he he had fever and he is demanding oranges but his mother but the his mother did not have any money did not have anything to give him to that child so his mother had nothing to give but to river water so he is crying just she can get she could give only the river water as she is very she was very poor so swallow swallow little swallow he requested to the swallow the happy prince the statue of the happy prince requested to the swallow to give him would you not bring the ruby out of the sword hilt he said that from the my sword hilt from the hilt of the sword could you please take the ruby as we decide i told you that the ruby it was there in the sword hilt what where was the ruby there it was in the sword hilt so he requested him to take the ruby to the from the sword hilt and give it to the ruby to the poor seamstress so that swallow could give that ruby to the poor seamstress and uh, with that the same stress might give uh, anything to eat to the child or uh, for the medicines also he said that and he was uh, fixed with the pedestal so he could not move he could not move he could not go from here so he requested to do the work uh, for uh, the happy prince okay I waited in the Egypt," said the swallow. "My friends are flying up and down in the Nile. As Egypt, Egypt was a country in Africa, so there uh, we read the world's biggest river, Nile. It was uh, it moved from there, okay? And talking to the large lotus flower, soon they will go to sleep. So the swallow said that he is waited in the Egypt by his friends." okay so he might not help him he wanted to say the prince asked the swallow to stay with him for one night and be his messenger the he again requested the statue of the happy prince to the swallow that only one night he could stay there the boy is so thirsty and the mother so sad he said he said that that the, the poor seamstress and her little boy they both were very sad the boy was hungry seems just was sad with the condition of uh, the house of the child also so at the boy i don't think i like boys answered the swallow the swallow said that i don't think that so i want to go to egypt i don't like the boy i the the swallow said that i do not want to that he did not want to help to any any boy and he wanted to egypt to meet his friends but the happy prince looked so sad that the little swallow was sorry he felt pity when he looked uh, again at the statue in the eyes of statue prince he again filled with the pity so he said that it is very cold here he said but he agreed to stay him stay with him for one night and be his messenger so he requested okay okay he would stay with her for one night and be the messenger then the happy prince thanked the little swallow to be ready to help the poor seamstress now uh, the swallow picked out a great ruby from the prince's sword hilt swallow picked that one and flew away with it in his beak over the roofs of the town when he was moving from the roof of the town and what he could see there when he was moving he was going from the statue to the house of the poor seamstress he what he could see 
he could see that he passed by the cathedral tower cathedral tower means church where the white marble angels were sculptures where the white marble angels means the statue of those angels were there uh, near on that uh, near the that church so he passed by the palace he also passed by the palace and heard the music sound sound of the dancing a beautiful girl came out of the balcony and uh, with her lover what he could find and he was watching what he was there that a beautiful girl with her lover she was there in the balcony and what she was talking about i hope my dress will be ready in time of the state ball for the function she thought that she said that may might be that poor seamstress might get my uh, that uh, she would complete the dress it would be ready up to the state ball she said i have ordered flowers to be embroidered embroidered on it but the seamstress are so lazy she that uh that that uh, the, who was there that princess that prince she was not the queen she was not uh, knowing about the condition of the poor seamstress she was also lived in the palaces she was unaware the miseries of the poor people the miseries of uh, that uh, seamstress instead of she said that the seamstress was lazy he passed over the river and saw the lantern hanging on the mast of the ships he could see the lanterns on the ships at last he came to the poor woman's house and looked in the boy was tossing feverishly on his bed feverishly means he was very restlessly he was he was putting he was lying there very restlessly as he had high fever so and the mother had fallen asleep she was so tired mother was so tired while doing all the work of the household and also with the uh, to embroider the flowers on the uh, gown so she was also fell asleep in he hopped he hopped inside the room and laid the great ruby on the table beside the mother's thimble where she was lying there she put the ruby the swallow put the ruby there then he flew gently round the bed he moved there and fanning the boy's head with his wings and he fanned the boy's head with the wing how cool i feel said the boy i must be getting better and he sank into a delicious slumber he thought that that he might be feel uh, very good okay he is feeling good with the fanning of the uh, swallow then the swallow flew back to the happy prince after helping giving that uh, uh, ruby to the poor seamstress uh, he came back to the happy prince and told him what he had done he told everything that how what he he had what he saw between and uh, how he helped that lady it is curious he remarked but i feel quite warm now although it is so cold why he was feeling warm he said that whether it was cold outside but then also i feel warm why the swallow was feeling warm because the swallow had done a good deed he had helped that poor seamstress so that's why that's why he was feeling warmness that is because you have done a good action said the prince the prince said that you have done a good action that's why you are feeling the warmness in the heart and the little swallow began to think and then fall asleep thinking always made him sleepy okay so the little swallow he slept there when he broke the next morning he flew down to the river and had a bath tonight i go to egypt said the swallow and he was high spirit at the prospect he wanted he wanted to move that day he said to the happy prince that uh, to tonight i i would move from here and would go to meet my friends he visited all the monuments and sat a long time on top of the church steeple he also sat long time on the church steeple so that he could see the city entire city when the moon rose 
he flew back to the happy prince it means when when the moon in the evening time he came back to the happy prince have you any commission for egypt he cried i am just starting he said that i'm i'm just going to the happy to the egypt to meet my friends swallow swallow little swallow said the prince will you stay with me one night longer the happy prince again requested to the swallow to stay with him for one more night one more night again the swallow said that that he could not stay here because he was waited by his friends in egypt swallow swallow little swallow said the prince far away across the city i see a young man in the garret garret mean a dark room near the roof he could see that a, a young man was sitting there he is leaning over a bunch of withered violets and his hair is brown and crisp he said that his hair are curly the hairs are brown and his lips are red as a pomegranate that's a fruit so and he has a large and dreamy eyes he had dream i the happy prince said that i could see that he could see from there that there are dreams in his eyes means to say that he might be determined to do anything in the life he is trying to finish a play for the director of the theater but he is too cold but is too cold to write any more but due to the cold he is not able to write anything so there is no fire in the grate grate means a fireplace so and hunger has made him faint and he is also going to faint due to the hunger so it again the misery he could see the misery what he wanted now the happy prince wanted from the swallow that the swallow again help the happy prince to help that uh, poor young boy so i will wait for one night longer said the swallow who really had a good heart swallow also had a good heart he said okay i will wait for one more night he asked if he should take another ruby to the young playwright he said that he should give another ruby he did not have another ruby because there was only one ruby in the sword hilt and that was given to the poor seamstress so he thought that what he could give now swallow said that if he had anything to give then i would might stay here for one more night alas i have no ruby said the prince he said that i i don't have ruby now my eyes are all that i have left what are there in the eyes of happy prince there were two bright sapphires okay so my eyes are left so they are made of rare sapphires rare sapphires they are brought out of india thousands years ago those were the very bright sapphires very precious sapphires were there Who was brought to india thousands years ago he ordered the swallow to pluck out one of the them and take it to the play out so he thought that he must give one he plucked from the eyes and gave it to the that poor playwright so what he wanted he gave this one to a poor playwright okay so so here so he plucked he will sell it to the jewelers and buy firewood and finish his play he said that so what he did the he again plucked the sapphire and gave it to the playwright okay so so today we'll read up to here only and in the next video we'll discuss whatever the pending part of the chapter is there we'll discuss in the next video okay thank you so much